All right, guys. Um, so I haven't done a video for you. I'm sure you're gonna roast me for however I do this, no matter how I do it. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, I basically have an assignment for you that you need to go find a home on Realtor.com and see what kind of home loan you would want to apply for. Um, it is a really beneficial skill, and it goes along with our curriculum about um, financial stuff right now. We um, in this 4.0 section we're starting. It's all about financial. Um, stability, we'll talk about bankruptcy, we'll talk about all those things for you or for a business. So it's not just, um, you know, personal, it's not just personal, but it's also not just business. It's a little bit of a mixture of both. Um, so I wanted to talk to you real quick about buying a home um, and, you know, the good thing about buying a home versus renting, the good thing about renting versus buying, uh, the pros and cons of each. Um, so, that being said, I'm also outside to kind of be out in my yard at my house. And also to just give you a friendly reminder, please go outside during this time and make sure you're getting all, um, take advantage of this little bit of time you have at home. You can, uh, you know, it's, it's um, been pretty good weather, so, you know, take advantage of being outside. Back to the point at hand, though, um, basically, you know, um, pros and cons of buying and renting, um, when you buy, you own that place, you, um, you're you going to you know be able to do whatever you want with it. At the same time, if you run into an issue, of course it's getting brighter outside now. Um, if you get um, a, you know, if you rent a place um, and something breaks, then you don't necessarily have to fix it. The person who owns the facility that you're renting from will um, basically allow, you know, someone to come in and fix it. And then you don't have to worry about it. So there's a lot of pros and cons. Um, a lot of times when you rent a place, you know, um, it's probably more of an apartment style. There are homes that you can rent, but for the most part, um, you're usually renting an apartment or you're renting some kind of townhouse, uh, condominium, something like that. While as, um, you know, when you buy, you're buying a home and hopefully you're going to stay there for a long time. You know, pros are you're getting that backyard, um, when you're buying a house, all those things. So there's a lot of stuff to go in when you're going to buy or rent and it's something to think about. Um, I did want to talk about, um, basically you're going to want to go to some kind of bank's website. Either it's the credit union, BB&T, um, PNC something, and you're going to want to be able to find out what kind of home loans they give out. Um, so there's a lot of like first time buyer, there's um, you know, some fixed, some, you know, um, fluctuating rates, and you can look into those, do all that research, and I just want you to kind of see the beginning process of buying a home. I had no idea how to buy a house um, and get a loan from the bank. I had to figure all that out for myself, um, and I did that just this past year when I bought um, the house I live in now. Um, I owned a townhouse, and I... Um, made payments on that, um, and I s soon realized that my mortgage on a larger home that I want for the rest of my life would be the exact same cost for the most part, um, just because the market was so good. So I sold my home, my townhouse, and I moved to a house with a yard, and I got um, a nice backyard. I got a dog, as you can see, and he won't look at the camera. Waylon. No, he won't. Okay, that's fine. His name's Waylon. I think you all know about my dog, though. I'm pretty sure I've talked about him, so. Um, other than that, that's basically it. You basically have this assignment today. You have one assignment tomorrow. And then, or, well, it's like three assignments, but it's our usual, you know, usual thing. Um, you have your one thing tomorrow, and then we'll hit spring break. Um, and I'm not assigning anything. None of your other teachers are supposed to be assigning anything during that. I just want you to enjoy it. Make sure you try to go outside, not out and about in town. Don't do that unless you really need to. Just stay at home, but maybe get outside somehow. Um, regardless of where you're at, just try to get out. Um, get some sunlight. Don't stay in. Just play video games or stay on your phone or anything because um, you'll lose your mind. So try to get outdoors. You know, Enjoy that sunlight um, while you can. So... But if there's any questions for me, as always, just you know, let me know. You can email me, text me, call me, do whatever you need to do. Uh, I have those office hours, um, but like I said, I don't. I'm not, you know, I'm not dead set in those. If you need me after those, before those, whenever, send me email, text me, call me. If you've emailed me before, you know I am very quick um, to respond back to you, so um, you don't have to worry about that. So, um, with all that being said. 
Um, just make sure you're contacting me with any issues. It is very important you are doing this work because you can be um, withdrawn from the class if you are not doing your work like you're supposed to. Um, at least that's what it's been um, indicated to me and the rest of the staff at DH Conley. So um, I miss you guys. I would much prefer to just be in front of y'all in the class at this point. Um, it's nice to be home a little bit, but at the same time, I, I enjoy my job. So I kind of would like to be back in the classroom. But I'm sure we'll see each other again at some point. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll be back in in May and everything will get back to normal. So, But just stay safe in these times and uh, enjoy your little bit of time at home. And uh, like I said, try to do something productive during all this. All right, y'all have a good day. Bye.